Well, I wanted to give a little update on a new locomotive. Uh, I looked through YouTube, but I didn't see anything on the Santa Fe Bachman Jeep 30. So I thought I would uh, give a short little review. I don't uh, never done one before, but I just wanted to uh, give a little look at it. It's a DCC. Uh, Jeep 30 comes with Bachman's standard uh, decoder and I'm not showing opening the box and getting it out and all the paperwork and all that stuff because really basically when somebody to me when they get a review they just want to see the thing run and see how it responds so I mean it's got a lot of great detail and everything uh, you rivet counters out there probably know whatever's wrong with it uh, as far as details go um, I really wanted to show how it responded to the, uh, the NCC. So I've got it on the outside track here, and uh, you can see the headlight uh, headlight control on and off, which works fine. Now this has over 128 speed steps. I've noticed. I'm going to turn this on to uh, one. There's two. Three, it's barely moving at three. I'm going to reverse the direction. That's forward, speed step three, four, five, six, seven. It just does not move very well at all. And I'm already at speed step 11, it's barely still moving. Now it's starting to pick up some around 14. So it responded, and that's 15. Now it's starting to move. Um, I mean, it crawls pretty good, slow speed. I just noticed that uh, it just see now. See there, it's crawl. It's coming to a stop. And I've heard that Bachman decoders, the standard ones, are just really kind of crappy. So I don't know. Uh, this little <clears throat> 260 responds great to the NCE system. So I don't know. I guess uh, I guess it's true. They don't. They don't. Uh, they work all that great. So I was told or read somewhere that I should put a uh, NCE decoder in it. So I'll check into that and see, but uh, now when I hit the increase fast button here, it uh, really takes off pretty quick. So hit the decrease slow, yeah it really really just slowed down quick. So the control with this is really not all that great. Now. Let me stop this, and I'm going to switch it to regular DC control with uh, the old Tech 2, and you can watch and see the response is really much better, much better control. Let me go back the other way. I mean, you got much better control with a DC throttle. You know why that is? I have no idea. And I don't know if anybody else has had experiences with that too. Anyway, um, I mean, it's a great running, great running little engine. I mean, it's very quiet. Uh, Headlight stays about the same on conventional. I know I'm moving around, trying to hold this phone with one hand and film and control this thing. But anyway, um, it's a nice running look, nice looking paint job. Looks good. I like it. Uh, I'm probably just going to end up putting a uh, a different decoder in it, and maybe I'll do a second report and see how it turns out. But uh, anyway, just wanted to show you all that. I picked it up on sale at uh, 
model train stuff or MB Klein, it was having a 10% off Bachman, plus it was only 59 bucks to begin with, so I think I picked it up for 53 or 54 dollars. So, if I'd have known, I would have just got the plain one though and put my own decoder in and saved another ten dollars. But, you know, you don't know. Anyway, that's all I got for now.